Today, we're taking a look at when Harry, Ron, and Hermione met a certain three-headed dog and the feelings and needs that brought up in them. Hey, it's Chris, and welcome back to Empathy in Action. If you're new here and would like to join me on my journey to make life more wonderful, then consider subscribing so we can help each other grow. So I'm only going to give a little bit of an overview here, as most people are already familiar with Harry Potter. But if you're not, it takes place in a world full of magic. And our trio here are currently attending Hogwarts School for Witchcraft and Wizardry. And now a bit of a setup for the first couple of lines here. So in the previous scene, Harry had just been recruited to be on one of the school teams for a sport that they play called Quidditch. And Harry basically admits to being scared or nervous because he has a need for competence. He literally says, but I've never even played Quidditch. What if I make a fool of myself? Hermione points out in a trophy case that Harry's father used to play Quidditch, which Harry had no idea about. It's also important to know that when Harry was a baby, he survived an attack from a wizard named Voldemort, thus making him very famous in the wizarding world. So the scene starts here, and the trio are walking up a staircase. I'm telling you, it's spooky. She knows more about you than you do. Who doesn't? So, Harry never knew his parents, and he grew up with his aunt and uncle away from the wizarding world, and only recently learned of his existence. So here, Harry seems to be feeling apathetic, because he wants to understand himself as much as other people seem to understand him. So at this point, the stairs begin to move, and they all grab for the railing. Ah! What's happening? So Harry's probably feeling perplexed and needing some clarity as to why the stairs are moving. The staircases move, remember? After a few seconds, the staircase stops in front of a door. Let's go this way before the staircase moves again. So I guess Ron is feeling anxious because his need for predictability wasn't met. So they open the door and walk through into a hallway. Does anyone feel like we shouldn't be here? We're not supposed to be here. This is the third floor. It's forbidden. So I'm thinking Hermione is feeling trouble because she has a need for dignity, which probably won't be met if they're found walking in a forbidden corridor and get punished. Suddenly, a flame lights up in front of them, and behind them, the caretaker's cat, Mrs. Norris, shows up. Now, Mrs. Norris... She watches out for her students, and if they break the rules, then she leads the caretaker, Filch, to them. Let's go! Meow! They turn around and see Mrs. Norris. It's Filch's cat! Run! So all three of them at this point are probably feeling pretty panicked and have a need for dignity. So they run down the corridor, and when they get to the end, they find another door. Ah, it's locked! That's it. We're done for. I'll move over. So she pushes her way between them, and she pulls out her wand. And she points at the door. Hello, Hamora. Get in. So they rush into the door and close it behind them. So Hermione seems to be feeling impatient and wanting Harry and Ron to be more effective. Hello, Hamora. Standard Book of Spells, Chapter 7. So I say Hermione is feeling annoyed and wants to see Ron be more competent. And at this point, Philip shows up in the corridor. Anyone here, my sweet? Meow. Come on. Philip is gone. Probably thinks the door is locked. It was locked. Then for good reason, so Harry's turned around at this point, and Hermione and Ron join him to see Fluffy, this giant three-headed dog, which wakes up and sees them, and starts to lunge at them. Of course, animals have feelings and needs as well, however, I'm not quite ready to tackle them right now, but feel free to leave a comment below if you'd like to try and see 
what Fluffy is feeling and needing at this point. And all three of them scream, Ah! And they open the door and run away. And at this point, it's pretty obvious what they're probably feeling and needing. But, you know, I'm going to say it anyways. So, they're probably feeling panicked, overwhelmed, scared, because they have a need for safety. And eventually, they make it back to their dorm, breathless. What do you think they're doing? Keeping a thing like that locked up in a school. So Ron is probably feeling furious, because he wants to understand why a giant three-headed dog is being kept at the school. You don't use your eyes, do you? Didn't you see what it was standing on? I wasn't looking at its feet. I was a bit preoccupied with its heads. Or maybe you didn't notice. There were three! So I guess Ron is feeling irritated because he wants understanding about what feelings and needs were stimulated inside him by the three-headed dog. It was standing on a trap door, which means it wasn't there by accident. It's guarding something. So Hermione is probably feeling uncertain or confused because she wants to discover what's under the trap door. Guarding something. So I'd say Harry is feeling perplexed because he also has a need for discovery. That's right. Now if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed or worse, expelled. So this scene was requested by my wife specifically for this line. She was feeling curious because she wanted to understand why Hermione seems so much more concerned about her studying at Hogwarts over her own well-being. I'm certainly concerned about what Hermione said, and I'd say my wife and I both have a need to see Hermione's need for safety get met. So what's going on in Hermione? Well, I'd say that Hermione really values her need for growth. And since at the current moment, her need for safety is being met, that she's probably feeling irritated because she has a need for stability with staying enrolled at Hogwarts. She needs to sort out her priorities. So like my wife and I, Ron seems to be feeling troubled because he wants to see Hermione's well-being taken care of. So that's the end of the scene. And at this point, I'd like to go into a section I call Taking Action where I take some of the needs I guessed and see what actions could meet said needs. First, we'll take a look at Harry's need to understand himself better. So one thing Hermione could do is she could tell Harry as much as she knows about things related to him. And also, she could point him in the direction of books that may contain information about him that she doesn't know. Second, We'll take a look at when Hermione pushed Harry and Ron out of the way in order to open the door. So at this point, I guess that Hermione had a need to see Harry and Ron be more effective. So one thing that Harry and Ron could do is that they could learn more spells that would be useful to them, either with the help of Hermione or on their own. And finally, I'd like to take a look at the last few lines between Hermione and Ron where there's a little bit of a conflict, though somewhat of an indirect one since Hermione didn't hear what Ron said. And here, I'd like to differentiate between strategies and needs. A strategy is an action or set of actions which can help to get a need met. And here, the conflict is between the strategies and not the needs. So I guess that Hermione has a need for stability and her strategy was to walk away and go to bed. And I guess that Ron's need is to see Hermione's well-being taken care of. And his strategy for that was to say to Harry, she needs to sort out her priorities. So if they can get in touch with what they're feeling and needing, then they can both understand what it is they're needing and make a doable request of the other person which is simply a request that a person can do. So this is what Hermione's request might look like. When you went through the door on the third floor, I felt irritated 
because I need stability in knowing I can continue to study here. Would you be willing to stop for a moment and think before acting next time? And this is what Ron's request might sound like. When you said being expelled would be worse than death, I felt troubled because I want to see you take care of your well-being and safety. Would you be willing to tell me that you'll take care of yourself? Note that neither Hermione nor Ron have made a demand of the other person. If what they're asking for is a request, and the other person decides they want to do something else, they can continue the dialogue until both of their needs have been met. So what do you think? Do you agree with my guesses? Or are there other feelings and needs that you think might fit better? Let me know in the comments, and in the description I posted a link to a list of feelings and needs, so you can use that if you'd like. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you let me know how this video did or didn't meet your needs. I want to continue to improve my content for your viewing experience, so any and all feedback is welcome. If you want more empathy, make sure you subscribe, and I hope to hear from you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye.